Hi guys and welcome from Egypt. Yes, first of all, um, it's day number nine. Today is February the 2nd and just looking at the TV quickly, the BBC live in Cairo, it's day number nine of the protests in Cairo, uh, obviously called the crisis in Cairo. Um, and notice the difference, it is a crisis in Cairo and not a crisis in Egypt. Okay, this is a big thing because people are thinking, you know, there's rioting in the streets of Sharm el-Sheikh where there really isn't. Let me just show you the streets in Sharm el-Sheikh. It's actually very, very normal. This is just outside our hotel. The main road is just over there and uh, the beach is down there and you can see. Obviously, this is not the, the main area in Sharm, but you can see everything's peaceful and normal. The sun is out as normal and we're carrying on working. The biggest development for me personally is I got a splinter in my foot yesterday and I'm off work. <laughs> um, resting my foot there. Um, so yeah, there may be rioting and looting in Cairo but it's just a normal um, day here in the hotels in Sharm el Sheikh. Um, there was a, a few days ago there was um, a Bedouin like fighting with the police in Sharm. Um, just trying to steal stuff, but it wasn't anything to do with the government stuff. It was just the general law and order issues with the Bedouin people. Um, so that's it. Yeah, it's just normal here. The tourists are really very scared. And I heard that some of the English companies have cancelled some flights and stuff. So I think for the next few weeks that Sham will be quieter. But it's actually fine. On the street, it's fine. Some of our staff live outside the hotel. Um, and they've been bought inside the hotel um, just for um, protection. But as we said, the streets outside are fine. I went to church on Sunday, and um, there was no, there was not many people there. I think people are scared to go outside, even though there's nothing happening here. Um, I actually think more of it. People just actually want to watch it on TV. You know, it's exciting to sit back on TV and watch the crisis. Um, so it's a good example of how the media can make something into a crisis when it's actually just a large demonstration about something amazing, something great, a country changing like this. Um, so yeah, so that's the excitement from here in Egypt. Thank you everybody for your birthday messages. It was my birthday on the 27th, so thank you so much. Um, so all the calls and texts I've had to say for me to come home, I'm not coming home, there's no need. Um, but yeah, let's show you the um, my birthday things. We had a little cake. Well, we had two cakes. I just the kids made me these little birthday messages, so I need to just show you these. Look, happy birthday, Joe. Here's me enjoying the sunshine. Happy birthday. I wish you for a nice life. Oh, this is from an Egyptian girl. That's nice. Um, wish Joe for you happy birthday. Oh, that one's nice. And then just Joe and all apart. And then we've got a tree over here as well. So that's nice. So I really did enjoy my birthday. I had a cake with my Egyptian boys. And then we had a big sing song with the um, guests on the stage. So that was great. So a nice birthday. Um, so wonderful. So we will continue watching the crisis in Egypt. <laughs> live on um, BBC but really don't be concerned guys don't be worried because everything really is fine in Sharm there's loads of police here and everything and there's many many Europeans and it will continue to be fine I'm sure and it's great that Mubarak will be leaving and we'll have a new president so it's really the start of something amazing so look forward to the developments in Cairo the crisis area um, but please the good news is that flights now will be really very very cheap so you can come out to see me very very cheaply and possibly get a bargain hotel as well so get yourself on lastminute.com and come over to Egypt and have a great time here in Sharm el-Sheikh. I'll see you very soon. Lots of love.